हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोग्राम ऑफ द रो विथ मैक्सिमम वंस इन गिवन मैट्रिक्स सो दैट इज दिस मैट्रिक्स गिवन टू अस एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज दैट फाइंड find the maximum uh, find the row which has the maximum number of ones in it okay so here is a 2d matrix as you can see so what we have to do we we return we have to return this row as this uh, row has maximum number of ones in it okay one can see so uh means and uh, we have to keep one two things in mind while while creating the logic that it has to be it uh, it time complex complexity has to be this o of n plus n okay and uh, it should not have any extra space okay so the very brute force approach would be like we uh, go we traverse the whole matrix and found, uh, find the sum of individual row and the row which uh, which has the maximum sum we can say that it has a maximum number of ones okay so that is a one approach and it uh, as one can notice that it has a time complexity n into m which is not viable as we have to do in n plus m okay so what one can do is that uh, here Here my logic though that uh, you you traverse each and every row and found the first occurrence of one. Okay, found the starting point from from where the one is starting. And here, okay, I forget to tell you one uh, one thing that every row is sorted here. Okay, every row is sorted means every zero would be on the left side and every one would be on the right side so the uh, the index where we uh, where the uh, one the occurrence of one is at index one here we can see the column okay column index so here one and the occurrence of one here is two okay index number two so we want to return the row which has a least occurrence of one okay i mean least occurrence of one means least index okay so here the least index is zero we can see that okay at index at, at column number uh, at column index number zero it has a one here so we don't need to check each and every one okay here we only need to encounter The first one, okay. This is a this is the first one here. This is the first one here, okay. So that is how it goes. So uh, let's focus on the code here. So in code, you have you have to maintain two variables, okay. So I can just yes, these are two variables. I I made them in the pair, but you can make them separate, okay. So this outer loop, this outer loop is uh, doing nothing but uh, traversing the each and every row okay and this if if block you know, here is the thing that if you encounter if if any row has a zero as its last element okay consider this row okay it the last element of this row is zero so it can be the row that we want it that we want okay it can't be okay because it does not have any one in it so how can it be okay so this is this if block for those type of rows and this for loop again it goes uh, it goes from 0 to m no co column number column index number 0 column index m okay so it, it is column column wise traversing so in uh, so this if block is doing that uh, whenever we encounter one first time 
what we do we we compare the column index to our minimum column index if it is if minimum our minimum column number column index is greater than the current column index uh, what i mean by that is that see if we are here for, for this row say we are here okay so this is the int maximum so int maximum of course greater than one okay so we will assign one to the our to our minimum column index okay then we go to the and we don't need to check for uh, other ones because we are having break here break statement okay so that will that will end the loop for us this loop okay so now we come to the second row in second row we have the occurrence of one at this column index so that is zero one two and our previous minimum index was one and now it is two so we want to be changing it okay because we want the minimum one so yeah and we break we break inner loop and we go uh, we come to the outer loop now look at this row the occurrence of one the first one is that index zero okay and zero is less than is indeed less than one so we assign our minimum column index zero and our row okay the the wanted row is two okay whenever we end this series if block if, whenever this happens we assign this column index to our second you know mean the second variable okay so after this whole thing will happen okay after this whole thing you know is done we'll get our output as column index so this is how it's done hope you like it and so jahin subscribe if you like if you don't then it's all yours